Elsewhere, Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Magoha has disputed the recent findings indicating a possibility of mass failure in schools after a long break occasioned by COVID-19. Magoha says the findings conducted last year are not a reflection of the forthcoming national examinations. Our Education Affairs reporter Andrin Kilemi has the details. Speaking at Kwanjenga Primary School Wednesday, Education CS Professor George Magoha urged the public to ignore the findings that indicated a mass student's failure. The Education CS saying the findings are inaccurate as they date 12 weeks back. The findings in an assessment conducted in October last year showed that the majority of class 8 learners performed below average, failing to attain the minimum of 50% in most of the subject assessed. Don't let it look as if the children were assessed yesterday and since the exam is in two weeks or four weeks, they are all going to fail. It's, it's very unfair to these children. And I can assure you they are not going to fail. Because I've been asking them from four level questions there. And they answered more than 50% of them. So how are they going to fail? And this is a school in the slums. For instance, in maths, Kiswahili, Insha, and English composition, only 34%, 39%, and 45% of students respectively attained the 50% mark. Magoha, however, lauded teachers for playing a key role in ensuring learners recover the lost time after a long break occasioned by COVID-19. Considering that student 8 and uh, from 4 learners have been in school for more than 14 weeks since that time, I am more than confident, having taught for 43 years, that the learning interventions by teachers have helped these children recover the lost time. According to the report, learners in schools located in urban areas registered higher mean scores as compared to those in schools in rural areas. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Education has warned learners of dire consequences for planning, burning and destroying school property in the wake of school fires and unrests. Candidates are expected to sit for their national examinations next month. Andrin Kilemi, TV 47.